ETV. Aloha Aina. I'm Ehu Ke Kahu Cardwell with the Kauai Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Tourism is back and very much alive, but recent studies show that countries and cities that have opened their doors again to tourism have done it one of very two different ways. One way, the smart way, can be called quality over quantity, and the other is let everybody in. Venice, Italy now charges an entry fee to tourists because Venice, with its age and frailties, is not suitable for what's known as fast food tourism or cheapskate tourists. Venice uses these entry fees for preservation and environmental protection. In addition to Venice, other places like Thailand, Isla Mujeres in Mexico, the Maldives and Norway also charge tourists entry fees. It has attracted a higher quality of tourists rather than higher numbers, which result in over tourism. The fake state of Hawaii learned nothing about tourism because just like before the pandemic, they're only looking at how much money can be made. And that's exactly why our neighbor islands are swamped right now with over tourism. There are respectful, quality tourists who want to visit places like Venice or Hawaii to enrich their heart, soul, and mind and learn the local culture instead of treating it with no respect like it's just another item on their bucket list. The Hawaiian Kingdom would not allow anyone to disrespect and trash Hawaii's aina and sacred places. So it's up to all of you to let the fake state know that these cheapskate bucket list tourists are the ones who need to be told not to come to Hawaii, to go back home and stay away. I'm at Huke Kahu Cardwell with the Kawani Foundation right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Hawaii Broadcasting Network.